much fun with our last guest, Ross Matthews, that we're having him back on Makeover Madness. That's happening Tuesday, December 23rd. Iconic Canadian model Yasmin Watasami's latest venture is a creation of luxurious wraps that celebrate the beauty of her homeland in Africa. Take a look. Tell me about your inspiration for this line. For some years now, been going back home to Somalia and East Africa and many other parts of Africa, and I've gotten inspired by the tones and the colors of certain places in the desert and the sand, and, and I've always wanted to kind of somehow convey that in material, and uh, I love scarves. Whitney is a very good friend of mine, and we've, we've kind of put our heads together with the linen that she uses, which is top-notch. We've been able to create these five different scarves and uh, what we're doing is 20% of the scarves, uh, the, the cells and what comes out of the scarves will go to um, the, some of the charities that I work with, um, which uh, one of them is African Future and you need everything and any help that you can get. So excited about the whole project. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, that's great. Congratulations. Well done. And you look amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Model, and she's here live. It's Yasmin Watsami. Here on the outside and the inside. Oh, you're too sweet. And Thank I mean, you. your scarves sort of represent what's happening inside because these are really the reminiscent of your homeland. They are giving back, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. But they're also gorgeous. I mean, you're using this beautiful linen, beautiful colors in so many different ways you can wear it. You're wearing one of your scarves. I'm wearing one of my scarves. This is the traditional way of uh, wearing it. It's yeah. called Guntino in my hometown. Okay. And uh, you basically wrap it around. Look at how brave she is. She almost took it all off. <laughs> <laughs> no nudity in this show. <laughs> That's for another show. The morning show, come on. <laughs> and, um, and so this is actual um, picture of the last time I was in Somalia which was about um, last summer. Beautiful. And uh, it's, uh, I call this one the Haba, which is named after my mother, who's recently passed away. And um, um, it just means a lot to me. And this is just the landscape, and me and my ne nieces and nephews running. Um, and uh, yeah. It's sort of like a stylized mm -hmm. representation, right, of what you remember from home. And we talked a little bit last night about your mother passing, and you're such a warrior. Oh. It's so beautiful that you still have her with you, you know, in, in, in all these moments. So absolutely, all She's... of this is about paying attention to tradition and heritage, and that's what I really love about it. Yeah. What does this scarf this... Um, remind you of? A lot of us would wear our scarf like this, and yes. we can pull this off. Maybe not the dress, <laughs> but we can do this. What does this one remind Mind you of this is actual. This is actually um, I've uh, co co ugh, I've <laughs> collaborated with a friend of mine who's a local designer here, uh, Whitney Westwood, who has a linen company. Um, and um, I like the idea of linen because it's natural and pure yeah. and um, and and almost like a canvas type of. So this scarf is called um, Linus. Mm -hmm. Which is the um, the material? What's what? It, the flower that it's made, out, the linen it's made out of. Okay. It's made from, and the colors are just. I just. I've been. Um, it that. represents, I guess, a lot of the places I've been, a lot of colors I've been um, exposed to, and um, yeah. It reminds and they, me of water. It doesn't it? It's beautiful. I can right now. Okay, I can do some right now. <laughs> can you can go some? over to the other side of this okay, uh, beautiful one because I think that this is quite popular. So you've this. done a scarf, uh, how a lot of us would do at home with our t-shirts, just scrunch it up. But this is this is actually a shirt made from one of the scarves. Yeah, absolutely. This scarf is called Shash, and um, it is. Um, it, I just wanted to show different ways that you can wear yeah, your I scarves, like that. And, and you can modernize it. I am, even though I am. Um, Somewhat traditional. I'm yeah. also, um, um, I'm also Canadian. So we, yeah. you know, I've got both of Somalia as well as Canada in me, and I, I would wear my scarf like this as well as wrap it on my head. Yes, so we all both diverse. countries claim you as ours. So <laughs> we'll glad. just fight over yes. <laughs> okay. <glad>. Let's <laughs> go over to the third, uh, the third one now. Oops. And this is what do you call this one, Yasmin? This one is called the piece. Oh, beautiful. Um, and the reason, and as you can see, I implanted a little peace sign in there. Mm -hmm. And it represents all the tones of uh, different tones of African places I've been to. Mm -hmm. But also, we've been at war for quite some time, and it's just a reflection to say, you know, maybe it's time we should stop, or somehow, you know, 
put some uh, peace, peace out there. Yeah, back in yeah, there. Yeah. Now, we talked yesterday about the fact that there are so many people and every immigrant uh, family has this experience of the mm -hmm. brain drain. Mm -hmm. So people leave their country, they go off to the UK or Canada and the US, yeah. and then people are at home struggling. So the money that you're raising from these scarves is going back to the people who stayed. Absolutely. And that, to me, is crucial. Absolutely. What's the name of the organization? The organization that I work with is called the AfricanFuture.org. It's okay. a nonprofit organization and uh, we work with the locals to ask them what they need and right now we're working with um, educating young girls yes. um, in Somalia so the proceedings from these scarves will go towards that that project. Beautiful. A beautiful product mm -hmm. and you're giving back. So Yasmin has brought the whole audience $50 gift certificates from Whitney Linen. <laughs> this incredible cause. Let's go to break. More coming up.